Hello again, this is Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services. Uh, we're going to do some uh, little quick SOLIDWORKS tutorial today uh, talking about templates, how to set up the templates, where they live, and how to get SOLIDWORKS to point to the templates you want to use when you make your new parts, assemblies, and drawings. So let's jump into it. So we'll first uh, start off SOLIDWORKS here and launch it. Uh, this happens to be the new version at the moment. And I've got a license checked out so I can use this at home, which is kind of handy. So as it's loading SOLIDWORKS, it tells you what it's doing here. And it takes a while depending on how many add-ins you have turned on to load when you start SOLIDWORKS. So right now it's loading some initial components and eventually it'll start telling me about some add-ins I might have turned on. And so I've got the toolbox add-in evidently turned on. There's SOLIDWORKS simulation. All of these modules take time to load, and so you may not want to turn them all on all the time uh, unless you use them all the time. So uh, we'll show you how to turn those on and off as well. So let's continue to load. Evidently I have a lot of add-ins turned on. And 3D Experience is a SOLIDWORKS uh, add-in that lets you uh, interface uh, like a social media kind of thing uh, that you might be, interested, might be interested in. So we'll continue to twiddle our thumbs here. There's a flow simulation uh, add-in, which is uh, very large and very important, but you might want to not load it all the time. So, okay, so we finally get in here, we get to the welcome screen, and uh, you can start new parts assembly drawings here based on some default templates that I don't like to use. I like to use some custom templates for our classes. It's got some recent documents. These are screenshots. It's not actually looking at the file. These are screenshot shots taken the last time it was saved. And so you may, uh, what I like to do is set my ISO view if it's a model and get in the middle of the screen there so when I save it, close it, it'll take a nice screenshot and I'll be able to see what it is. Same thing for the drawings. Here's some recent folders used and some other stuff down here. Generally, I don't use this because I want to make sure I go to the exact folder I know I'm going to. And these may live in different places or unknown places. So you can use these recent documents, but I tend not to like to use that. So we'll close this out for now. Uh, another quick thing. We're not going to go into details of using SOLIDWORKS just yet, but I do want to show you this help screen. This is good. It's a little question mark. You can go help, and you can say uh, about SOLIDWORKS. It'll give you uh, version information, what service pack you've got loaded. You can see your serial number. You want to look at that. So that's up there in the corner. And maybe I'll spend a little bit of time just showing you how to navigate some uh, navigate the view screen. So I'm going to go file open and this happens to be a little rocket model I'm working on at the moment. And it's got several parts that make up an assembly. We'll learn more about that child parent relationship between parts and sub assemblies and upper level assemblies. Uh, it'll be important to show you Do that another day. So this is open up an assembly model which has no CAD data. It just points to other part models, pulls those part models in, and orients them in a particular way. And so you can see the tree over here uh, once it gets through loading here. It's a moderately large assembly. And I'm getting the spinning wheel there, so we'll keep waiting and try to be patient. Not the most patient user. Mm, come on, come on, come on. Well, this is disappointing. I mean, it shouldn't have clicked so much. We'll give it a couple of seconds here.
There we go. All right, patience pays off. So what I'm doing to zoom in and out is just rolling my middle mouse wheel. If you don't have a mouse with the middle wheel, it's going to be painful. I don't know how you would ever do it, but this is this is an easy way to zoom. You can zoom window. You can do zoom things with your keyboard, but mouse is much, 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 much easier. So I'm rolling my wheel, my mouse wheel in and out. If I want to spin it, I press and hold my middle mouse wheel, and I can kind of rotate it around different orientations, which is kind of interesting. Uh, if I want to pan, I just do a control, hold down a control key, and then press and hold my middle mouse wheel. And now I can pan it around. Now, when you zoom in and out with your middle mouse wheel, if you are zooming in and out at a spot that's not on the model, it's going to zoom off the screen there. It zooms in to where your mouse happens to be. And it's easy to get lost and lose your model. So if you want to get back to a known view, you can hit spacebar. It's a quick pop-up. You can get front, right, top, bottom, left, right views. And you can also get an isometric view, and that'll put it back on the screen. So if you get lost, just do a spacebar and choose these predefined uh, orthogonal views, or you can always just get back to your ISO view, which is I like the way to leave it there. All right, so like I said, here's the planes that come with every uh, part or assembly you start with. There's your origin, and these are all the assemblies and or parts that go into this thing. So maybe we'll leave that like that. So let's talk about the add-ins. So if you want to turn on and off these add-ins, you go to Tools, and you scroll way down to the bottom, and go to Add-ins. And here's a list of available add-ins based on my SOLIDWORKS license. There's a column over here that turns them on and off. And there's a column over here that lets SOLIDWORKS know if you want to install these modules every time you start SOLIDWORKS. And so SOLIDWORKS Simulation, I've got turned on to do its startup. That's why it's loaded now. Uh, maybe this flow simulation, maybe I don't want to turn that at startup. Maybe I'll turn that off. So that turn that off, that means it's still going to be loaded in this session because it's already turned on. It's just that the next time I load SOLIDWORKS, I've decided I don't want that to load every time, which will save me a little bit of time. If you turn this checkbox over here, it, it'll turn it off and the menus won't be available. So decide which ones you use. Maybe some of you want to turn all these off initially to make it load faster and then say okay and it remembers that for the next time all right so let's go talk about our templates so SOLIDWORKS has default templates that are not horrible but they're pretty lame you want to put make your own templates to do custom things so that you don't have to change settings every time you start a new part model so if you always want to make parts out of aluminum by default you can make a template that assigns aluminum material to every part you start, and that way you don't have to do it every time. But you don't want to set things like that that you change often. And so material will be a bad choice probably because your parts are going to be made out of different materials. And so you probably wouldn't want to set that. But there's other things you do want to set that you don't want to have to change every single time. So to find out where these settings are, we're going to go Tools and then scroll down here to the bottom and go Options. And there's also a way to get to it right up here at the top. You can use this pull down here and say options. All right, under options, there's two types of options. There's options that stay with the program that you've got installed on your, per on your particular computer, your particular installation of SOLIDWORKS. And those stay with the computer. So if you make a settings change on a computer and you open up your file on another computer, those settings will not be saved. So those are system options. Document properties are things that get, or settings that you can set in your templates and they stay with the individual file, whether it's a part, an assembly, or a drawing. And those go with the file that you create. So if you open those up on different computers, they stay as you set them. So where we're gonna find this, uh, these templates are under system options because it's part of the computer settings. And there's a tab, there's tons of these system options, and we'll, maybe we'll go through these. If you guys want to talk about these more, we can talk about during class. So I'm going to go to uh, File Locations. And I've got tons of different locations for different types of files, and this is where SOLIDWORKS knows where to go 
to find bomb templates, where to go find drawing scale standards, where to find whole template. All of these they have different files associated that SolidWorks needs to know where those live. And the one that pops up as a default is this document template, so that's what we're going to talk about today. So right now it's pointing to this folder. And so I think I have this opened up over here somewhere. So here's the folder that this is pointing to at the moment. Program data, SolidWorks, SolidWorks, okay, so here it is. So this is, may or may not be what you've got on your installation, but probably pretty close. And here's three files. And these are ASM DOT. So this is assembly document template. This is a drawing document template, and this is a part document template. And that's where SolidWorks is currently pointing to, to find these templates. And that's the only folder there. So I want to cancel out of here, I'll close this thing out. Now, when we say file new, this is how you're going to start every single new part or an assembly or a drawing. You're going to say file new. And SolidWorks is going to show up like this on your computer. And it's going to have a part, an assembly, a drawing. And it's pointing to these templates right here. That's currently the folder that it's telling it to go to. So those three files there are these three templates here. But I don't want to point to these because these, like I said earlier, these are lame. We want to use our own templates. And what I'll be doing is giving you these templates. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've got mine in this folder right here. And you're going to make a folder, you know, you're going to, under my documents, you're going to have a folder with the class name. And then you're going to have a folder called templates. And then you're going to put these files that I want to give you into that folder. And so here's two assembly templates. One's for inch, one's millimeter. Here's some bomb standards that we'll talk about later. Uh, those are going to be, I want to give you those. Here's a B drawing, drawing template, drawing DOT. And here's a D size landscape drawing document template. And then here's two uh, part model templates, PRT, DOT for document template. One's an inch, one's a millimeter. Okay, so I want to point to this folder so that SolidWorks, when I say file new, it doesn't point to these lame templates, it points to the ones I like. So we're going to go tools options. And we're going to go to system options. And there's only one available now because I have no document opened up at the moment. System options, file locations. And I'm going to go add a new folder. I want to go add that folder that I was just looking at. C, documents, Summers Technical Services, SolidWorks, and templates. And I'm selecting the folder. I'm not selecting any of the files. I'm selecting the folder that the templates live in. So I just say select folder. And now it's added to the list. And if I say OK, yes, I want to make the changes. Uh, just making sure I want to. It's telling me that they're warning me that it's going to make these changes. OK, OK. All right, so now both of those folders are in there. So now when I say File New, it's gonna, this Novice tab is going to still point to those old templates. But if I click on Advanced, now I've got two options. I've got an option for those lame templates. These are the ones that it was originally pointing to. And I've got another tab up here for my good templates. And so I don't even want to see these other templates in here. I just want to see the good stuff here. So those are those six files that we just looked at. So I want to say OK. I want to go Tools, Options. I want starting a new part here. <clears throat> so I'm going to go Tools, Options, and then get rid of that original option, because I don't want that thing to even show up. I don't want to see those anymore. So if I say Tools, Options, I use the pull down here. Go back to that same screen I was just at. This thing is just super slow today. All right. So if I go back to options, and now that I've got a part started, I've, now I've got document properties. And so this tab, anything I change in here 
will uh, make changes to the standards that are set up in this particular part file. And I've already set these up in the template so that it gives us the options that I think we'll most, uh, most be using. But if you want to tweak these, we can. And we can have to tweak the template. So I'm going to get out of here and uh, go back to System Options, File Locations, Document Templates. I want to get rid of this one. This is the original one. And when I say delete, it doesn't delete the folder, it doesn't delete the files. It just deletes the pointer that's pointing to those files. And so now I've only got one folder is pointing to, which is my good folder. And if I say file close, this empty part I started a minute ago, file new. Now it just shows me those good templates I've got. So if you want to start a new part, you choose the inch or millimeter part template. If you want to start a new assembly, use the inch or millimeter assembly template. And if you do a drawing, these are both inch drawing templates. One of them's a B-size landscape, one of them's a D-size landscape. And you can see when we start a new drawing, it's got the built-in title block, it's got all the parameters set up, all the stuff we're going to be learning as we go through the semester uh, is all pre-set up and you get a nice template so you don't have to start over from scratch every time. Okay, well, maybe that's enough for now. Uh, get those templates loaded on your computer. Get the settings that we just went through. Set those up so that you're pointing to the new templates so on the first day of class we can get started uh, building SolidWorks models and not messing around with setting these templates up. So do that before the first day of class. That's all for now, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.